House prices have fallen here in Phoenix for the third straight month. But does that mean your potential mortgage payment has fallen with it? Hi, I'm Michael with EXP Realty, and this is the September market update. First up, we'll talk about is active listings. So currently we're sitting at 19,257 available homes for buyers to go look at. Compared to a month ago, we're sitting at 18,855. And compared to last year at this time, we're sitting at 7,318. So buyers have a lot more choice to go out and search for the perfect home for them. Now, if you're a seller, this means more competition for your home. You wanna make sure that you're pricing it right. Next is sales per month. So currently we're sitting at 6,019 sales per month. In comparison to last year, we're at 6,300. So not much change there. And when you look back a year ago, we were sitting at 8,600 sales per month. So the higher interest rates are putting a damper on buyer demand, but overall not a ton of change. There's still a lot of activity out there. Now we'll move on to days on market active. So this is from the time a house goes on the market to when it goes off the market. Uh, currently we're sitting at 62 days. A month ago we we're sitting at 52 days. And then last year at this time we we're sitting at 52 days. So slightly higher, but not a lot of change. Uh, just expect you're probably gonna get through the first weekend um, of the sale before you go under contract. And then you'll have your normal 30 to 45 day escrow period. Next is months of supply. So currently we're sitting at 3.2 months of supply. So this, this metric is basically saying if no homes went on the market anymore, based on the current buyer demand, how quickly would all of those homes be snatched up? So currently we're sitting at 3.2 months. Last month we were sitting at three months. And then um, last year at this time, crazy, crazy low number. We were at 0.8 months of supply. So tons more supply out there. Uh, if you wanna go buy a home, you have a ton of choice. You should go make a jump now if you have the ability to. Now for the average sale price percentage as compared to the list price. So this is going to be, what's the comparison of what the list price is and what it actually sold for. So currently we're sitting at 97.47%. So that means most homes are selling for under the list price or the asking price of the seller. Uh, last month we were sitting at 98.27%. And then a year ago at this time, we we're sitting at 100.52%. So that means more often than not that sellers, as things are staying on the market a little bit longer, they're willing to take prices and offers that are under their current list price. Uh, so this is, means you don't have to go out there and bid way over the asking price. You can potentially get a deal on what they're asking for it, or this could potentially mean that sellers are overpricing their homes and people are offering what it's actually worth. So make sure that when you're submitting offers, the agent you're working with is running comps and giving what the actual market value is so you can make an informed decision. Next, we're going to jump into listing success rate. So this is the percentage of time a house gets listed uh, with an agent and successfully sells. So currently we're sitting at 69%, nice. Uh, last month we were sitting at 71% and then a year ago we were sitting at 89%. So what this means is homes are going up for sale, uh, sellers are potentially overpricing their homes or they're not getting the price that they want uh, to get their home sold for and they're deciding to pull it back off the market and deciding not to sell or potentially work with a different agent. Now here's the big one, median sales price of the monthly sales. So currently we're sitting at $442,000 for the median sales price of a home here in the Phoenix area. In comparison to last month, we're sitting at $450,000, so down about eight grand. And then in comparison to last year at this time, we're sitting at $405,000. So yes, homes have started to pull back a little bit over the last three months, but in comparison to last year, we're still up $40,000 when it comes to the average sales price of a home. So if you have the ability to jump in, now might be a good time for you because you can get in at a cheaper price and then go in and refinance later when interest rates fall back down. And then lastly, I always like to finish it off with this one, is the Cromford Market Index. Currently, we're sitting at 105. For a balanced market, which we're currently in right now, 
we need to have that metric between 90 and 110. So we're currently sitting on the high side of that a little bit at 105. Uh, last month we were sitting at 112 and then this time last year it was absolutely bananas uh, so we're sitting at 347 for the Crawford market index like I said last year it was absolutely insane um, is crazy crazy sellers market now we're somewhat in a balanced market at 105 um, seasonality we'll probably start to see the market pick back up probably October, November-ish, as it heads back into the springtime, as that is the prime selling season for anyone putting their home on the market. So that's the market update for September. If you have any further questions, comment down below. If you're looking to buy or sell here in the Phoenix area, go to MacOMethod.com and book a call today. Have a good one, guys.